In my initial video, I said that this was the best affordable hair on AliExpress, and I'm sure you want to know if I still feel that way. Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kay, and over here we do beauty related videos, be that hair videos, makeup videos or reviews. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, please be sure to subscribe. So we have recently reached 800 subscribers and I am so thankful for every single one of you, new or old. Thank you for helping me reach this milestone and I hope you continue to follow me on this journey. So as you can see from the title, today's video is going to be on this hair. I first want to start off by saying this hair review is not sponsored whatsoever. Yes, the hair was sent to me, however, I, the hair is mine now, so I can say whatever I want about it. <laughs> so whatever I'm going to be saying in this video is the God's honest truth and my honest opinion. So how this video is going to go is that I'm going to tell you the stats about the hair, like, you know, the density, the length, all that. Then I'm going to tell you the pros and then I'll tell you the cons and at the end I'll tell you whether I recommend this hair or not. So first things first, let's get into the stats of the hair. So this hair is a 22 inch 150 density wig. I think it is, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is Brazilian straight. It is a 13 by four closure wig and the wig, the lace comes in medium brown. And if I haven't mentioned already, this hair is cranberry hair on AliExpress. I think they also have an Amazon store and their own website, but yes, this is they're all the same company cranberry hair so now let's get into the pros of this hair so the first pro the lace the lace is extremely thin so it blends really perfectly into my skin so what i do is um i lay my wigs with ghost bond ghost bond yeah i lay my wigs with ghost bond and then um i spray my the perimeter of the frontal we've got to be and i tie it down with a band and when once that band comes off scalp <laughs> like scalp so it blends in perfectly the second pro is that this hair is silky yes it's super silky it's quite straight so this is the hair um i'll say in its natural state um the last time i straightened this hair was about three days ago and since then i have just been putting it in a bonnet and sleeping in it and I came up on this video today, brushed it out, and this is how the hair looks. It has a little bit of a wave to it. Yeah, so it has a little bit of a wave to it, but it's not like super frizzy, it's super silky, and it straightens very, very easily. It straightens so easily. And for that, I love it. So what else, what else, what else? It is true to length. The hair comes about waist length and I've had 24 inches that come about that length. So it is a very good length. This hair is affordable. This hair totaled at about 100 pounds. It was like 102 thereabouts. And that's probably about $120. And for this length, this um, density, I think that is a very, very good price. Another pro is the packaging it came in. It came in a box and I think that's really cute. Sometimes these hair just come in like little, like little plastic bags. And I think it coming in a box shows good presentation and it's, it gave me high hopes for the hair. And they also come with, they also usually come with very good gifts. Sometimes they come with straighteners. Sometimes they come with wig caps, um, hair bands, this and that. So from bleaching the knots, I can tell that this hair does take to bleach really well. You might need to bleach it one or two times. I mean, you might need to bleach it two or three times to get it to a platinum state, but it does take to bleach really well. Um, yep. So yeah, also I love the luster of this hair. I can, I'm sure you can see it shining in the video. I've had this hair for, as you can see, I've had this hair for a month and it is still looking pretty much brand new and I've washed this hair like no less than three times and the most recent wash I soaked it in hot water just to make sure that if there is a silicone film on it it will melt off and I'll see the true quality of the hair and I do believe that's what I'm seeing right now so this hair has been very manageable very easy to work with I've just not really had any trouble with this hair so far but now we're gonna get into the cons 
so the cons of this hair <laughs> the cons of this hair because all things that go up must come down there there are some cons to this hair it's not perfect so the con first of all I don't think I like 150 density 150 density is a bit too thin for my liking uh, I'm gonna bring it to the front and show you what that looks like so this is what all the hair looks like and it does look quite full however it doesn't feel full and I just feel like if I was if I happened to be outside and the wind blew I feel like I would have like I don't know it just look like I have three strands of hair in my head and if I put into it and this is the kind of hair that I can't really put into a ponytail because of how thin it is this is just me trying to show you what that looks like the luster is so good but yeah this is how thin the hair is it's not necessarily bad but it's just not my cup of tea I think for me personally I would recommend you go for 180 density or you just buy the bundles and make a wig. It's not necessarily bad, but I just feel like it's very thin, especially in a ponytail. So this is what it looks like with the ends. Don't mind me, I'm wearing I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> I'm, I'm glam from the waist up. <laughs> so yeah, that's what it looks like at the ends. The ends are the ends are actually quite nice. They're not too dry or anything, and the hair has a nice luster to it. So now let's get into tangling and shedding. So this hair does not tangle. It does kind of snag a little bit. Like if it hasn't been brushed for a while, it your hands don't always run through it smoothly. It does have a little bit of snagging, but it doesn't do any matting. It doesn't do any clumping, none of that. It just has a slight snag every now and then if it hasn't been brushed in a while and that is completely normal, completely fine. So this hair has a noticeable amount of shedding to it. Um, it doesn't shed crazy amount it doesn't shed a crazy amount but you can notice the shedding like it doesn't shed in my hands like no shedding but once I'm brushing it I do feel a bit of shedding and I do see the hair like I do see like little hair pieces about the house so it's not like crazy it won't just be falling off crazy but whilst you brush it you will see quite a bit of hair fall out but I don't think it's the worst shedding I've ever experienced it's not too too bad um and also something i forgot to mention the lace color the lace color is actually okay however if you bleach the knots and you wash the lace with purple shampoo it will give the lace a great grayish tint but it's not too bad because of how thin the lace is you can always just put a bit of concealer on it uh, or i mean put a bit of powder on it and you won't you'll be none the wiser like this is what that looks like on my skin i didn't even put any powder on it that's just the lace and my skin so I basically just gave you all the pros and cons mushed together. So the pros are the hair is super silky, super easy to straighten, it doesn't tangle. The cons are that it does shed quite a bit, but not not badly. I wouldn't say it sheds badly, but it's like you can notice the amount of shedding when you're washing it, when you're when you're brushing it, like you'll notice some shedding, but that is completely normal. Um the texture of the hair is chef's kiss it has a great luster to it and for the price this hair is about 100 pounds like for this length everything and i feel like that is a very good price and 100 pounds is probably about 120 dollars i think that is a very good price for the quality of hair you're getting because at the end of the day the only things i don't like about it is how thin it is and yeah the only thing I don't like about it is how thin it is. The quality of the hair itself is actually really good. It straightens really easy. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but at the end of the day, do I recommend this hair? Yes. This is not the best hair on AliExpress. Yes, there's better hair on AliExpress. However, for the price, this is a steal. This is a steal. This is only a hundred pounds for this whole wig. Whereas you can find wigs on AliExpress at this same quality for about 300 pounds. So, like make the wise choice for yourself at the time that they sent me this hair i had under i had under 500 subscribers and i don't think they're sending their best quality hair to me <laughs> i don't think that's the case so so i guess it's really up to you if you decide to buy this hair or not but i definitely do recommend it from my experience so what i would recommend is that you get 180 density and you get a 13 by 6 part because i got a 13 by 4 and it's all right it's not bad but i think i prefer to have a deeper part so 
we have come to a close of this video and I just want to say if you like this video please give me a thumbs up please leave me some comments down below if you have any questions also leave me a comment and I'll be sure to reply you as soon as possible let me know if you'd like me to do more hair videos and for now that is all please make sure you like comment share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one